Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Now that things are getting serious, when the YSL number 1 red shade comes out, you know that we are in the Christmas spirit. Now, as you guys kind of would know by now, I am not going to be doing a vlog every single day because I'm not that interesting and I just think that having a vlog every single day will get a little bit tired. So instead, for most of the days in the run up to Christmas, I'll either have vlogs, Christmassy themed videos, hauls, like winter clothing, makeup, if you guys want to see a tutorial on this easy like Christmas makeup, that's also going to be coming out, so there's a lot of things in the pipeline, and to kind of kick off the winter clothing, we have another I Saw It First clothing haul, look at the size of this package, hello, ow, I just got stabbed by what I think is some boots, look how massive this is. I'm so, so excited. I tried I Saw It First once um, a little bit ago, and I really, really like their stuff. I use it all the time. I do have a discount code for you guys, and it will get you guys 35% off. I will leave the discount code down in the description bar for you guys. And they also do still have their Cyber Week sale on, I think. It's going to last until Sunday, so today... It'll be on until the end of today, so if you do see anything that you like, you can just hop on that. I'm going to get straight into it because there's a lot of things here, and I am flipping so excited. Woo! They have kindly sent me these items, um, although you guys know the truth will all be revealed, and if I think something is not great, I will always, always say it. I'm not gonna do my normal self vibe and like just pour everything out on the bed because let's not start with a big mess. Yes, good staple starting item. This is a black hoodie. Oh, I've been waiting for you. Guys, I am the most excited person in the world about this. The simplest purchase ever, but something I haven't had in literally forever. I can't remember the last time I had a plain black hoodie, and it's something that I wear so often. Like, it's so easy to just chuck this on. Like, if you're heading to the cinema over in the winter time, you, or if you want to be comfortable but still look cute, so you can chuck this underneath, like, a coat when you go out, and it looks nice with, like, cute little white trainers. I just feel like it's such a winter layering staple. This one is literally in a size medium, and it's an oversized fit anyway, but I would say that this kind of looks like a medium to me. The arms are nice and chunky. It's soft inside. I don't know what you call this, like, fleecy material, but it's soft and warm, and OMG, this is perfect. It's got the little pocket in the front, which we need because we need to be able to keep our hands warm when we forget or lose, which is pretty standard for me, your glove on the side of the road. You need to be able to keep your little claws warm and put them in this jumper. Oh, I love this hoodie. I will leave all the prices for you guys um, in the description as well as the sizing. What's up next? OMG, okay. This is something that I have seen on literally every second YouTuber's channel, and I think it's just because they are so freaking nice. So we have got... Wow, this is so nice, guys. I'm so happy about this. We have got a little lace bodysuit. OMG, this looks so flipping nice. I'm obsessed. I didn't realize that it was like lined down the center. That's giving me like Victoria's Secret meets like circus girl vibes. OMG, it's so nice. On the tops here, you would definitely need to wear like just some nipple covers or something so you're not completely exposed. Unless you want to, then although you do you. But I kind of imagine myself wearing this with some like black high-waisted jeans and like a blazer over it and then like a big fluffy coat when I go out and like high knee boots, over the knee boots. There may or may not be some of those <laughs> coming up. See you soon, boo. This looks so nice. 
I am a little bit worried about the cup sizes here, but the, it does look stretchy. Um, so, I mean, because I won't have a bra on, I think it will be fine. And hopefully I won't eat too many freaking Christmas snacks. And it won't be able to fit anymore. But it looks really, really nice. I got this in a size small. And I did that because I watched quite a bunch of, like, other girls hauls to kind of get an idea of sizing and it seemed like this would be the best fit for me okay just a little note to say thanks girl thank you this is a little bit out of my comfort zone but i am trying to be a little bit more daring with my style and just i don't know like branch out a little bit more i'm such a jeans kind of a girl like i just wear like black high-waisted jeans for, like five days out of seven a week so I was like, I need something different. And I keep seeing really cool trousers on other girls. And then I'm like, wow, those look amazing. But I'm like, would I know how to style them? Can I pull them off? So I got some freaking vinyl trousers. OMG. Guys, this is so extra for me. You got that typical... Oh, just some more ASMR, you know? vinyl scent oh my god these are sick look how shiny they are these are literally skinny vinyl trousers and they're not like completely tight so they're not like legging kind of a fit they're more of like boot cuts at the bottom i would say i saw these also on somebody else's channel they tried these on and i was like those are sick they look like a reasonable kind of a pair omg these feel like they'd be so comfortable on as well like really soft I'm finding that quite confusing. Like, I thought they'd be really uncomfortable, but it's a completely different texture to what I imagined. Almost like, kind of like spongy. I'm really loving the look of these. These are freaking sick. So shiny. And I kind of imagined these, like, paired with a nice, like, silk shirt or, like, a white shirt and either some, like, small ankle boots or, like, over the knee booties definitely can go with this and you can literally wear any jacket with this you can slap it on with like a massive fur or just like a plain black jacket or maybe the one that i've got in here which i'll show you guys or like a big fur i feel like this would go quite well with like something really fluffy and bougie okay guys so <laughs> houston we have a pair of limo these we can't close um yeah one too many uh, snacks on the weekend um the calf area and the butt area um are just like a little bit too tight um so i would need these in a size i don't know what size i actually got definitely would have done with a size eight i'm just gonna go and return it for the right size it's not that i didn't like it it's that <laughs> it don't fit me okay maybe i got ambitious with my size order but these ain't not going on. Oh, I feel like it's time to bring out the big guns. I have questions. How did the big guns fit in this little box is what I need to know. When it comes to boots, see I nearly lost them. I always oversize guys because, well at least on I saw it first and actually on a lot of other websites because I have like bigger calves and short legs. So at a close vicinity to the ankle, it can easily be too tight. So I'd rather go one size up and I can wear socks. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. No, no. Suede over the knee boots. Guys, these are they can't even fit in the screen. There we go. The longest, bougiest things I've ever seen. Look at the pointed toe. I wanted a pointed foot one and not the round one. I think the round one goes quite well with flat ankle boots, but these are tall and not too high to be fair. These are like reasonable. And they've got a little zipper just in case you're having like the little struggle, the ankle struggle, trying to get the foot through the bottom. Oh my god, these look insane. I cannot wait to try these on. And by the looks of things, I'm quite glad that I got a one size up. It looks like the perfect size for me. Because you know, your toes can easily get crunched in there. You're like, oh, maybe it's a little bit long. But then once you get your foot in there, you're like, nah, girl. The only thing I'm trying to think is like, 
I'm skeptical about how this will stay up. I think you might need, we'll see, but maybe you'll need like some like tape, you know, the like material to material tape. <laughs> whatever the proper name is for that boy. You might need some of that and you can stick it to like the jeans that you're wearing or whatever just in case because it doesn't have the ties. But, oh my god. It is small a little bit like thick. I don't know how to explain it. Like a little bit like chemically, let's call it that, but they look beautiful. This is a winter staple. I can't even. So guys, I've got on the knee high boots. I'm not going to lie. These are a little bit of a struggle to get on just because again, like I said, I have bigger calves. So at the bottom, I felt like it was pretty tight. I would definitely say to size up. I went up to a size 7 and I would definitely not recommend not sizing up and I really like them. I think that they look really, really nice. They're not my favorite ones that I've ever seen or tried on, but I think that for the price of them, they're so nice. They are a little bit higher than I thought that they were when walking in them, but I do really like them. I would use these for like a bougie night out versus the flat ones. And yes, I do know one of my um, zips is more to the front. Once I put it on, it was on and I wasn't gonna be taking it off and putting on another one. But I do really, really like these and they are really soft and slinky on. We've got more, we've got more. Okay guys. This is something that I have been wanting for the longest time. I've been wanting a nice kind of camel color coat because it goes with so much for ages. I used to have this issue, right? Let's do a little story time. Where I'd buy everything in like the fun color and then it wouldn't go with anything and I wouldn't end up wearing it. Like I'd get like a bright pink coat or like an orange jacket and unless it's like summer and it matches your full outfit, normally it can't, you're kind of stuck. So recently I've been buying a ton more neutrals and my outfits are just coming together a lot more, I think. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to see some of my like outfits, fashion, what I get up to. I'll leave my little handle over here. I always have my deets in the description below if you want to check me out. But this coat, okay, I've seen it around the shop. I saw it first. I didn't see it first. Some other people saw it first. And then I copied them, okay? I saw this and I was like, yes, for the price amazing i can't remember how much it is and they don't have the prices on them i think it came down to like with the discount like 30 quid yeah that's all i'm saying is yeah oh my guys it is this big camel long line coat i've waited for you for so long it says made in italy yo so we all know that everything that comes from italy is good quality <laughs> who said that who the hell said that <laughs> me this jacket oh my god it could even go over red Ooh, bougie i love the little collar you just do a little pop of collar you can literally wear anything with this apart from yellow i really wouldn't wear yellow with this <laughs> This is such a good winter coat. I'm going to get such good wear out of this. I can't wait to try it on. It's so freaking cute. I am obsessed with you. I love you. This with my new black over the knee boots. That's all I'm saying. Coat drop. There's more. There is more. Are we on the last item? <gasps> Guys, I think we're on the last item. This is the most extra thing of the whole haul. It's probably the most extra thing I've ever ordered in one of my videos. And I'm not sorry. Guys, I have gotten myself a big black fur coat. I ordered it in the size eight. Yeah, I did girl. And I'm gonna put it on now. Cause I can't wait. Yeah, I did, girl. Oh, it's a little bit um, slightly tighter than I would have imagined. How furry am I, guys? I am the fluffiest, bougiest queen in the world. It's a little bit smaller than I anticipated. So just to warn you guys, it's come up as a small freaking eight. I probably 
if I'd known, would have gone for a 10, but I literally love it. Look at how fluffy and extra it is. The fur is really soft. I feel like this is such a nice way to just chuck this on on top of like an all black outfit and you can wear it to like a dinner out. It's so warm, like I'm getting warmer and warmer as we speak. And I feel like it's just such an easy piece. So freaking pretty and honestly, for the price, like it's such a good quality item. I would definitely say size up because I was like reading the, what you call it, the instructions, the details, I was reading the details of the items and it kind of looked like this would have been my size, but I like my coats to be a little bit oversized and it's a little bit tighter than I would have wanted something, especially of the style. So I would say to go up a size in your coat, girl. Okay, my lovelies, so that was everything that I got from I Saw It First. What did you guys think? Did you enjoy the items that I got? I thought that they were really, really, really nice and I will definitely be doing another cheeky haul on I Saw It First. If you guys go do go do if you guys do go and get yourselves something from I Saw It First, don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you got. Okay, angels, it's that time for the sub fact of the day. I know how long you guys have been waiting for this and the suspense must be killing you. Today's fact of the day, and it is relevant to the Christmas time of year, is did you know that snowflakes are not actually white? Snowflakes are translucent like the ice that they are made up of. Because they're translucent, it basically means that the sun doesn't pass through them or light doesn't pass through them easily. And what actually happens is it is the reflection of the light bouncing off that makes them appear to be white. Now to me, the irony in that is the fact that everyone always says have a white Christmas because obviously it freaking looks white. Like, kind of is white, you know what I mean? Like, that might be the fact, but I know you guys know, even though it is translucent, like baby, it looks white. So we can all say it's white anyway, but that is the fun fact of the day. Hope that you guys found that fun and interesting. Until next time, my angels, thanks so much for watching and being on the Sab Fam. If you did enjoy that, don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe to join the family. We would love to have you here in our little Sab Fam. Love you guys so much. Bye.